Could you tell us about yes. how you analyzed China at that time? And as a, as a, as a story, you mentioned to a journalist that at that time, uh, you saw some Chinese putting Coca-Cola into Bordeaux wine because it was too mm. strong. So I, I'd yeah. be very interested to know what you saw at that time that made you think this is a mm. place where I can start and develop my business point. Yes. So I arrived in China on the 8th of January 2008 with actually two suitcases full of wine samples and a very um, big will to uh, find out the real market in China. So what I did at the beginning, I've seen that my competitors would go in five star hotels and do fancy wine tastings. But I wanted to realize if the people on the street actually like wine and what kind of wine they like and what kind of prices they could pay. So I was just randomly traveling all over the country and sent there on the streets, packed out my bottles and started to figure out what kind of, uh, what kind of wines people actually on the street like. And um, at that time in 2008, most people would know about French wine. Most people would say, oh no, French wine Bordeaux must be the best wine. But I realized also on a lot of meetings I had is that no one actually liked it because for newly wine drinkers and China at that time was still a newly wine drinking country, um, people rather prefer sweeter wines. So they had a heavy Bordeaux and that's why they put Coca-Cola and green tea and ice or whatever you can imagine was ending up in the wine because they would gambe the wine. That means bottom up. And mm. uh, so that they can gambe a heavy wine, you have to mix it with sweet liquid. So that that's how it was. So when I was on the street and trying to figure it out, um, what they really like. For example, there was there was a girl, maybe 25 years old, and she said, oh, I don't want wine. And then I start giving her a Moscato and said, well, try this one. And she drank it and she was so excited. And she was like, what, this is wine? So then um, I realized then that there is so much um, that what they don't know. And, and that's why, um, yeah, I, I figured out that they like sweeter wines to start, that they cannot afford so much. So at that time they might would afford 50 quai to spend for a bottle of wine. And uh, that's how I then afterwards, when, when I found the Cheers, came back with this knowledge and searched uh, for wines which really fit to this newly wine drinking market.